Hi, this is Michelle Lee, and you're listening to TV Confidential. Brad Robertson welcoming you back to TV Confidential Radio Talk Show about television. This happy to welcome Emmy Award winning actress Donna Mills. Donna Mills, the actress known around the world as Abby Cunningham Ewing on Knots Landing. Knots Landing turns 40 next month as we record this conversation, but the show is as ageless as ever. Donna Mills has three movies coming out, two of which happen to be Christmas oriented. One of which is the award-winning independent film, Carol of the Bells. Donna Mills is also now a winemaker, having launched Mandeville Vineyards here in Los Angeles, along with her partner, Larry Gilman. We'll ask Donna about all of this and more in just a second. First, Donna Mills, welcome to TV Confidential. Well, thank you. So nice to talk to you. So nice to talk to you. Let's start with the uh, vineyards, Mandeville Vineyards. I understand that your decision to start Mandeville Vineyards originally came from your partner, Larry, oh, yeah. but yeah. Uh, eventually you got into it. Well, yeah, eventually I did. I must <laughs> say, at first, I said, uh, what are you, crazy? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe that he really meant it. But then, you know, he got geologists up here, he got people up here, and all of a sudden they were building steps. They were building things, and I kept saying, no, no. I thought I was afraid that it was going to make the hill so that, you know, the dirt would come washing down when it rained really hard. As it turns out, that it didn't happen that way, but thank goodness. But I was really, really nervous about taking everything off the hill, all the brush and everything that was there. But he was adamant, and he was right. You know, we have a beautiful, small vineyard now and we're making really good wine (laughs) we actually won a silver medal at the san francisco wine competition one of the wines that uh, donna and larry produce is a malbec cabernet blend that i get that right right yeah sometimes we we do it as a malbec it just depends on you know we do different batches and stuff like that so uh sometimes it's a blend sometimes it's just malbec I'm going to show my wine illiteracy here, Donna. But now, now, what's the difference between, say, a Malbec grape and a Cabernet grape? Is it the size? Is it how long you ferment them? What's the difference? They're from a totally different plant. I mean, they're grape plants, but they're totally different. They look different. The leaves look different. They're all vines, of course, but the leaves look different. The grape itself on the Cabernets, the skin is much thicker. And on the Malbec, the Malbec is kind of a delicate berry, and they have a different taste. Well, I'll, I'll have to taste your Malbec and your Malbec Cabernet blend for myself. And I understand that I can order your wines as well as anyone listening to our conversations can order your wines by going to MandevilleVineyards.com, correct? That, absolutely, yep. yep. Ma- you can, you know, see the whole story of the vineyard on there, and you can shop. You can buy the wine, you can buy a bottle, or uh, Mandeville Vineyards is the wine, is the vineyards owned by Donna Mills. Our guest uh, today, Donna Mills, Abby Ewing from Knott's Landing, Madeline Reeves of General Hospital, star of all sorts of TV shows and movies, including Carol of the Bells. A young pregnant woman visited Carol this morning. Carol must have taken her back there on her own. If you can't provide proper supervision for my daughter, I will find someone who can. Carol of the Bells, which is the award-winning independent film produced and directed by Joey Travolta, and that stars uh, Lee Purcell, Donna Pascal, Jerry Joel, R.J. Mitty, Breaking Bad, and a wonderful actress named Andrea F. Friedman, who happens to have Down syndrome, but she is a naturally gifted actress, and she's such fun to watch in the film. Yeah, I know. She turns in an amazing performance, I think. And I think it's it's one of the reasons that the movie is so moving because she's just she's amazing, and and I think so is R. J. R. J. is a, an amazing actor who has cerebral palsy, but he works all the time, and he's just wonderful. And the wonderful thing too about the movie is that Joey Travolta has camps all across the country where he teaches young disabled people to work in the film industry. And this was their first feature film, and we did the film with 
70% of the crew disabled, which I thought was going to be kind of a challenge, but they were amazing. They did whatever job that they were supposed to do beautifully. They were happy to be there. It was a wonderful experience. And it underscores, you know, part part of the backstory of, of Carol LaBelle's, as I understand, is it shows that people with disabilities really aren't disabled. They're just different abled, you know. They, they can yeah. still do what you and I do, maybe just a little slower, but just as well. Right. And they, you know, trained properly, they can do, you know, just about any job. So it's really a revelation to see, and, and Joey is getting... A lot of his people into the major film studios now to work, you know, in, you know, at Paramount and Universal and places like that. So he's a saintly man, Joey. He really is. Uh, And I think that the work that he does is just amazing. It was a real honor to work with him. Carol of the Bells won a claim earlier this year at the Bentonville Film Festival and at the San Diego International Film Festival. Carol of the Bells will be uh, available for release very, very soon. To keep up with Donna Mills, DonnaMills.com. You can also follow Donna on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. And watching the movie, uh, Carol the Bells, Donna, there seemed to be a sense of improvisation, not only in your scenes, but it, but throughout the movie. It's, it's as if maybe it's just the acting styles. It just seems very natural, but it seemed like a very loose improvisational vibe. Well, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> Because that's what we want. We want it to look like we're just, that's what we're saying, that's what we're doing, you know, uh, as actors. No, it was totally scripted. There was some room in there to improvise and stuff like that, mainly uh, working with a Down syndrome person. They're not always predictable. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you would kind of have to go with the flow sometimes. But it was a script that was written, and uh, I thought it was a very good script. When they sent me the script, I loved the script. I I didn't even know about the crew and how it was going to be done and everything like that when I said yes, because I just liked the script. And I'm glad to hear that it, that it looked loose and real. I'm very happy about that. Carol of the Bells will be scheduled for release uh, later this year. For more information on Donna Mills, DonnaMills.com. You can follow Donna on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram, now this is probably just a fluke of the way things worked out, but earlier this year, uh, I had a chance to see another independent movie you made called Turnover, and you, you, you mentioned the unpredictability of actors with Down syndrome. Two of the actors in Turnover, they steal the movie. I mean, they pretty much steal the movie. And I, I forget I forget the names of the actors, but, but they play the loving um, married couple with Down syndrome. Well, they get married. Yes. They get married in the, in the movie. Yes, yes. And they're, they were, that was my first experience with Down syndrome people because I did that movie before I did Carol on the Bells. And I was just totally amazed by how professional they were and how wonderful they were and sweet and and really good actors, you know. So that, too, was a real revelation for me and a real pleasure. Another reason that I took that movie was because it was all women, woman director, it was woman producer. And I thought, well, that's good. You know, women are getting movies done, getting movies made. And so I thought that was uh, that was really good, too. And it's done really well at film festivals. It's one best picture and a bunch of them. And what I like of both Carol of the Bells and Turnover is, in both cases, every actor has at least one or two scenes where it's their scenes, and they get to shine. And in Turnover, almost all of your scenes are with Beverly Todd. You have like one or two scenes that are directly yours, and we, you get a chance to convey a little bit of your character and both of your characters. Yeah, yeah, Beverly and, and also Ellen Gersten. He doesn't even know I exist. That's why you gotta go back there and put the goods right out in front of him. Ellen Gerstin was, you know, one of the the three of us were like the the ladies who go to the restaurant all the time and help him out when he when he needs help. And it was kind of a, a fun thing to be a little, you know, trio 
um, and we actually got to be quite good friends because they're they're both lovely, and we had a really good time on that. And and the costumes are kind of a little outrageous. Yes. <laughs> If I if I remember correctly, uh, you shot uh, turnover in an actual uh, eatery in Santa Barbara, correct? No, in Long Beach. In Long, okay, in Long Beach. Okay, well, it was it was, an, it, but if I remember correctly, it was an actual eatery versus a set. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Which you know made it really hard because it was small. Uh, you know, wasn't wasn't big. Well, it was very low budget movie. Yeah. You know, they couldn't they couldn't afford to build a set. They couldn't afford you know any big kind of stuff so they shot this little and they you know they made it work that was the amazing thing that's that's the thing i you know i've done quite a few of these low budget movies recently and i'm i'm just amazed at what people can do what people can put together and do on very little money they're very impressive yeah, and it may not be a quote unquote constructed set, especially for the movie, but there are but there are also advantages to working with actual locations and that okay, the design of the restaurant, I mean the interior may be small, but it may be it may have things that are unique to it that you that you can make part of the film and maybe draw from on your performance, depending what the thing is. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. It had a real feel. It had the feel of a real restaurant because it was. I mean, that helped everybody. I'm trying to remember. I know Beverly wore a lot of hats in your scene. I seem to think you wore hats when you did turnover. No, I didn't wear hats. It was those earrings. Okay, okay, okay. All right. <laughs> That's it. Well, it just. Wore the hats. I had I had earrings and, and lots of jewelry. I uh, my, my character was sort of. So it's supposed to be kind of Dolly Parton of the yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes, very, very much a Southern Bell. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Donna Mills is on the line with us. Donna Mills plays a Southern Bell in a Turnover, the award-winning comedy drama starring Paul Gilfoyle, Beverly Todd, and our mutual friend. Uh, Kat Kramer, also directed by Linda Palmer. Turnover is playing in select theaters as we speak. Plus, it will become available on DVD beginning in December. Donna is also seen in uh, Carol of the Bells. Carol of the Bells will be available soon for streaming on demand. Plus, this being the holiday season, or the holiday season soon as we record this conversation, Donna can also be seen in... Christmas Wishes and Mistletoe Kisses, which premieres November 17th on the Hallmark Channel, which is not your first uh, rodeo for the Hallmark movie. You've done other things for them as well. Yes. No, no. I have uh, I did this is my second Christmas movie that I've done for them. But then I did a whole lot of other movies for them before that, going back a number of years. So... Yeah, it, it, it's always fun to work for them. And it, these movies are sweet. You know, they're really sweet. I, and I, I understand why people like them in, in this day and age, yeah. kind of to have something that's just, you, you know, it's kind of predictable, but you know you're not going to get slapped in the face. You know you're not going to, you know, you're, it's going to be sweet and it's going to end well. That, yeah. That's really important to people right now. In t- especially in times of uncertainty, it's nice to know that you could turn on a Hallmark Channel movie, especially this time of year, and forget yeah. yourself for a while. Yeah, absolutely. I think, and that's why they're so very popular, and that's why they make so many of them. I don't know how many they make, but a lot. Christmas Wishes and Mistletoe Kisses premieres November 17th on the Hallmark Channel and will be shown several times throughout the holiday seasons. Uh, we mentioned you play a a Southern Belle, a Dolly Parton type of character in Turnover. I had a chance to watch the trailer for another show that you're in right now on the Pure Flix channel called Mood Swings. Uh, what can you tell us about Mood Swings? Mood Swings is a really interesting story because Crystal Hunt, who I did a reality show called Queens of Drama with, and what Queens of Drama was about was a uh, five actresses trying to create a nighttime show and they all you know put in their ideas and this was her idea in that show i was the boss in that show Mm -hmm. 
And so the, the show only lasted one season. They didn't pick it up, but she didn't give up on the idea. She kept working at it and working at it, working at it, ended up writing it with someone else, ended up getting it produced on Pure Flix, and it's like an amazing thing. She, she never gave up, you know, she got it done, and, and it was fun to do. Hola, mucho gusto, Emilia. Hola. Coco. Coco. <laughs> Look at this. I come to visit my daughter, and the United Nations moves in. Okay. It's a funny premise. It's a funny uh, thing. I don't know if in the trailer that you saw, I'm doing my Bo Derek. Yes, yes. I was going to ask you about that. There's a scene where Donna has her hair in Bo Derek-like cornrows. Right. And then you do a splat. Yes. Yep. yep. Yeah. Uh, that was that was lots of fun. That that was a wig that they had made for me. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Because I don't think you could do that to my hair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I wouldn't want that done to my hair. Yeah. Um, but it was a really funny idea. Cause I play her mother. I play Crystal's mother, mm-hmm. and she feels that she lost out the role of uh, that Bo Derek did in. Um, Ten. Oh, yeah, right, in ten. <laughs> so uh, she carried that with her all her life. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny when you see her, you know, come out in these, you know, in the wig and the cornrows and everything, and it's just like she's running. She's running by the pool, but like she ran on the beach, and then she just plops right into the water. I mean, <laughs> and my daughter saw that trailer, and she went, did you really go in the pool? I said, well, yeah. I had to. Yeah, you, you, you can't exactly CGI that. No, no. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, it's running on Pure Flix now, the, the series. And, uh, you know, I say, and Crystal has a billboard running in Times Square in New York, one of those big ones that goes around mm-hmm. here mm-hmm. Uh, uh, for mood swings. It's, it's there right now. I'm going to New York uh, tomorrow. And <laughs> I'm going to be able to see it in person. Terrific. Uh, Mood Swings is available on the streaming service PureFlix, pureflix.com. New episodes air every Thursday on PureFlix. Mood Swings stars Donna Mills. Donna Mills, our guest this segment. Uh, of course, I'm, I'm probably the only person who's going to make this connection, but when I saw you take the pratfall into the pool in, uh-huh. in Mood Swings, it reminded me, uh, you did a show many, many years ago with Larry Hagman called The Good Life. And in the opening sequence of The Good Life, you do, you don't, you don't do a belly flop, but you, you do a very, you know, a vigorous leap off the diving pole, and then you, you roll yourself into a ball, and then you splash into the pool. That's what I thought of. <laughs> How about that? You remember that. I don't even remember that. <laughs> But I, but I have to say, that was a fun show to do, and it was a fun thing. Larry was a dear friend after after we did that show, all for many, many years. And uh, he was just an incredible person to know and to uh, to work with. So I got very lucky. They had my first People said to me, your first pilot that you did went to series? Come on. And <laughs> I didn't realize at that time how unusual that was and how difficult that is but yeah that was the first pilot i'd ever done and it was with larry hagman and it it got on the air so that was that was a wonderful um experience too with him donna mills will be back next week to talk some more about her career among other things we will talk about how donna's role on the good life came as a result of her appearance in play misty for me with clint eastwood and how her role in play misty for me came about as a result of Donna's appearance on Dan August. We'll also talk about Beauty and the Brat, which is another movie coming up that Donna appears in. And, of course, we'll ask her a question or two about Knott's Landing. That is all coming up next week on TV Confidential. In the meantime, Carol of the Bells will become available soon for streaming on demand, just in time for the holidays, while Turnover becomes available on DVD beginning in December, while new episodes of Mood Swings premieres Thursdays, on Pure Flix. You can follow Donna Mills on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as at DonnaMills.com.
www.tvconfidential.com. We'll play part two of our conversation with David Starzik next on TV Confidential. Become an advertiser or underwriter of TV Confidential and let our brand help promote your brand. To find out more, go to televisionconfidential.com slash advertise. Buying or selling a home can be one of the most stressful things we'll ever do in life, but it doesn't have to be. And no one knows better than our friends at Front Porch Realty Group. Their community of realtors serving the Northern Bay Area of California that cares about their clients as individuals first and foremost. Whether you're a first-time buyer or looking to lease or sell your property in the Bay Area, Front Porch Realty Group will help you through this important transition by providing you with the right information for your situation while lessening the pain. They also work with a network of realtors throughout California who provide the same high caliber of customer service. Call Front Porch Realty Group at 415-886-7411 for a realtor referral near you. You can also visit their website, frontporchrealtygroup.com, for more information on the services they provide, including upcoming workshops and seminars. For more information, call 415-886-7411 or visit frontporchrealtygroup.com. Front Porch Realty Group. They'll find the solution that works best for you. Want a free first ride with Uber? Uber, the mobile app that connects you with a ride at the touch of a button in minutes. Enter promo code TV Confidential after you download the app to receive your first free ride up to $20. For more information, go to get.uber.com forward slash go forward slash TV Confidential. Hey there, this is Wink Martindale, and you're listening to TV Confidential. Attention sports fans, now you can watch every football game you want all season long without leaving your home with Dish for about 50 bucks a month. Compared to your cable bill, you can save almost $600 a year. Call right now and sign up for Dish and watch every football game you want. With Dish, there are no boxes to pay, plus get free installation as soon as tomorrow if you call now. And with Dish Anywhere, you can watch your favorite sports and channels on your smartphone, tablet, or laptop. Be one of the first 100 orders right now and get a free voice remote. Don't miss a single football game all year long and save a ton of money. Get a free voice remote and free free installation as soon as tomorrow but you gotta call all american dish right now 800-296-1251 800-296-1251 that's 800-296-1251 miss the show we have more than 500 hours of archived editions of tv confidential available on demand as digital downloads for more information, go to shop.tvconfidential.net. This portion of TV Confidential is sponsored by The Misadventures of Biffle and Schuster, the hilarious site-splitting new DVD available through Kino Lorber.